Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my corner of the internet. My name is Jason and today we're going to be taking a look at the third prototype or living concept art um, for the Space Venture for the Space Venture uh, Kickstarter. So I'm going to go ahead and I've downloaded this into Chrome so I'm going to go ahead and just launch it from here. Now there's not a whole lot different in this uh, particular version but uh, I'll go over whatever there is. So we've got the nice little um, icon again for the for the watch. I I love this. Welcome to the installation wizard for Space Venture Living Concept Art Phase Three. Loading. So please insert the following disc in Drive A. Set up disc two. When you're ready to continue, press Enter. Um, now, if you're running this from any other browser, in this this particular version, they've added support for um, every other browser except for Internet Explorer. I think no. Yeah, they don't list Internet Explorer as far as browsers that they have supporting. Now, there's also a little Easter egg in this uh, this game um, that might have something to do with the way you load it up. So, hint, hint. Um, I may have ruined it for somebody, but uh, I'm sorry. Anyways, <clears throat> let's go ahead and press enter. Now, normally it would have this nice slow loading screen, but for me, since I already have it preloaded, it just sped right up. So here we go, two guys from Andromeda, Space Venture, Living Concept Art, Phase 3. Now, uh, actually, is my sound even on? You gods, it's not. Sorry, I'll turn that up. I, I don't know if that really affects you any, but... Uh, anyways, we've seen this before. Your invisible ship docks, in fact, it's so smooth. Yes, we read this in one of the previous playthroughs. Um, so, uh, I've already looked around, and um, I have played this version before. Um, well, I did like the addition that they had of the preloader, because uh, previously, if you play, tried running it in a different browser, you'd notice pieces of art loading in while the game was running. It kind of took, it was kind of jarring, it pulled you out of the experience. So the preloader was a very good idea and uh, good call on that, guys. So, so as you can see, there's a large square button with a green arrow pointing up, at least relative to how you're standing given the speaking space and all. So I'm not going to go through all the dialogue. If you want to see me looking around and poking around at some of the stuff, uh, then I recommend you going to um, my pr my previous two videos for the concept art. So I'm going to go ahead and just push this button and head on up. Now one thing you'll notice that's uh, different <laughs> is we've got right here is an arcade machine. Well, I let's take a look at it. Cluck Jaeger. And this is the new foul create a uh, foul uh, character for uh, the Space Venture, uh, the new Space Venture game. So, <clears throat> looking at the screen more closely, it reveals that this thing isn't even turned on. In fact, it looks like the screen is actually just a plastic sheet with a stencil print on it. What a rip. Four little pointy arrow things, which appear to be made of crud text and stuck on there with glue or something. And here we have a joystick. Have you ever wondered why it's called a joystick? Whoever came up with that idea had some screws loose, I'll tell ya. So we've got this here, and, well, it's... That's a pretty effective glue. Try as you might, you can't pry those buttons off. You jiggle the stick, but nothing happens. It's stuck pretty firmly on there. So, we can't get past because of this egg thing. This egg arcade machine, which I think is brilliantly designed. Uh, well, so we need to find a way past it. And everyone who's watching this has probably already said, Well, it's right there! Just do that! Yes, yes, I'm getting to that. We'll notice here on the ground, there's a little shiny thing. Let's take a look at it. It appears to be a single buckazoid. Who left that there? Hmm, I don't know. Let's take it. <clears throat> you lean down and procure the coin from the carpet. That's carpet? Oh, yeah, I guess it is carpet. It's been a while, but the feel of having a real, genuine, authentic buckazoid in your hands makes you all the tingly inside. Wait, is this thing made of aluminum? Is nothing in this place real? No, unfortunately, it's not. This place is totally fake, including you. You're a sketch. Um. All right, so let's go ahead and use the coin on the arcade machine. I get to walk down here. 
These things are still uh, still a little bit touchy on the movement and there you go on collision. So you slide the buckazoid into the slot marked insert coin. As you hear the coin tumble down into the cabinet's innards, you're surprised to find that rather than turning itself on, the cabinet merely slides out of the way, revealing a cave. Huh? <gasps> a cave! It appears that not everything here is as it seems, which probably isn't that surprising given that everything seems to have been produced in a factory. You briefly wonder if domes like these can be ordered by mail before recounting a bad experience you once had, something about a whistle and robots. <laughs> uh, you know, I did get that the first time. I was saying like, whistle and robots, but it's obviously making a reference to the um, Labion uh, Terror Beast mating whistle from Space Quest Two, uh, and how you had to order it. So yeah, ordering things in space, bad idea. So let's go ahead and walk up this way. And we've already seen this plant before. We've seen the nice key card. One thing I, I I actually only discovered now. I'm like, why doesn't he walk where he's wherever I click? Well, he does. He walks up to where the head is. So unlike the old uh, point and click adventure games, um, you have to point with the head, not with the feet of the character. Ah, sorry. I thought I turned off my tweet deck. All right. You are now the proud owner of a key card. It's been a while, hasn't it? It has. I'm trying to think. Is there a Space Quest key? Yeah, actually, I don't think Space Quest 4 had one. <gasps> the blasphemy! The key card conveniently slides into the slot in the panel. You hear a quiet sound from the pool below the waterfall. One by one, stones have appeared from beneath the pool surface. They lead to a sandy area. Oh no, I missed the text, but I probably already read it. So he's waving to us. I don't believe he was in the last, um, the last prototype. So I think they actually went and changed that. And I know in the first one they were waving, but so let's go ahead and walk on over here. And this is about all that was new in this prototype. So yes, you recognize them as Mark Crow and Scott Murphy, the legendary as well as charismatic, funny, brilliant, and stunningly handsome game designer duo. I'm sorry, I did it the last two times, uh, so if I had to do it this time. Uh, you vaguely remember a piece of blah 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 about them trying to get filthy rich. Hi guys, you greet them in an anxious, high-pitched tone, which reminds you of puberty. You're, yeah yeah, we know who we are, we've been waiting for drinks and towels and stuff, get it for us. Um, where's Roger when you need him? Alright, turning back to you, Mark says, really? Why are you still standing there? Go back to the Kickstarter campaign page and help us get the 400,000. Move along, little Earthman. Uh, when I actually first played this, because they had just put it up, they had forgotten to change it from 400,000 to 300,000. And uh, it looked like some people were backing out their pledges, and I, I blamed them because, you know, they said to get the 300,000. But... And we thought Roger was a loser, said Scott. Mark, have you seen my snap block? I don't want to look weird in the spread we're doing for Galactoria. I'm sorry, I still can't read that without laughing. Galactoria. I'm telling you, it's like cross between an STD and diarrhea. I can only imagine what that would look like. Okay, I don't know if you can still hear me. My sound is going, eh, so I'm going to just try muting. This is the page we got to uh, after um, after you're done playing the, the, the prototype. Um, so we got Roberto Williams actually showed up for, we were doing a comment, they were doing a commentary for Space Quest 3 and Ken, uh, Williams had showed up and Roberto showed up for just a little while in the chat room, uh, to chat with us. And after that, we got this, this picture, it looks like it might've been photoshopped, but the fact of the matter is she took the picture. Um, so that, that, that was actually really cool to, in that, the, that they were in the, the chat room with us and it was a really cool thing and uh, I believe the two guys actually are going to have the footage for it, the, ch the chatter and all that uh, put up on their site sometime soon. Somebody had actually recorded all the, the chat logs and stuff so that'll be really cool if you want to check that out. Now there's one other thing I wanted to show. I don't believe I showed it last time. And... 
It was something that was included with uh, Phase 2. Uh, now, Phase 3 wasn't didn't have a whole lot included with it. I think they were working mostly on getting uh, it working with other browsers because that was one of the big things people were uh, asking for. So there wasn't a whole lot of features, but they're saying there's big things for Phase 4. So come on, get up, get up to 400,000, guys, so we can see what kind of wonderful things they've got for us. So I'm going to go ahead and get myself killed. Uh, in Phase 2, there was the option for uh, restoring and reloading. Uh, there, but I never clicked on the quit option. So I'm going to actually go ahead and do that now. And what it does is it throws you back to the DOS prompt. And that's it. I just wanted to uh, go ahead and uh, share that. I thought that was a neat little addition and I missed it last time. So, Well, anyways, that's been basically the quick catch-up for uh, Prototype 3. And uh, hope you enjoyed watching this. Go ahead and uh, pledge uh, at tgakick.com and get uh, the next space venture going. Until uh, next time, game on.